now let's go ahead and start fixing the gyro I'm going to place the gyro in this format some of them I'd like to place like this it's one and the same it's just uh, change the gyro uh, sense directions all right and also I told you earlier if uh, uh, some people remember is you can then actually turn the tail boom on the opposite side so that the flat surface actually comes down and you can keep the gyro here at the bottom this is much more a safer side uh, safer way of uh, uh, mounting a gyro I have just done this uh, only because of ease of uh, doing video for the build and I would suggest you people go ahead and do the same thing here I mean say uh, put it at the bottom the only thing the difference that you'll have is uh, to look for the gyro uh, directions which will come and take care of that later all right what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and uh, I've got a gyro tape here I'm using one of my old Spartan uh, uh, from one of the old Spartan gyros I'll go ahead and fix the tape here you go ahead and fix the gyro only thing be careful uh, and fix the gyro in such a way so that it's close if not almost close to uh, perfect and uh, that's uh, perfectly aligned uh, perpendicular to the main shaft do not try to uh, twist twist it in uh, such a way and you, know, the, 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 you don't have to be exactly 100% perfect get as close as possible that will be more than enough I'll go ahead and fix it well I've gone ahead and uh, fixed the gyro for the tail boom mount what I simply did was I took across a metal ruler fixed it just to get a reference and went ahead and fi fixed it here quite easy uh, otherwise also you can get one of those uh, the kids that play you know uh, with the Lego toys you know those building blocks that will be much more easy if you fix it actually you get a larger surface with that fix that and take the reference and go ahead and fix it now the way to fix the gyro is very simple you got the rudder the servo <coughs> rudder servo wire and plus also you get a female part of the uh, servo wire here that comes from the gyro go ahead and fix it now um, just you need to be careful as I'm using uh, a servo which has got an orange red and a brown color wire so the light color that's the orange color goes and fixes across to the white so, this is the way so always take the light color there's the orange is the light color here and fix it to white and for top it's much more easier you'll get white red black so it won't be an issue you just need to fix it now even if you reverse uh, fix it, it it's not a, a, a nothing nothing will happen so but just for you guys to be aware of it all right now gyro comes across again with two wires here or rather two servo leads one is a single wire that goes to the signal yellow in color or maybe some of the gyros will have some different colors but uh, usually it comes across in a yellow and also you have another servo lead with uh, the normal servo uh, um, it's a normal leads basically is the uh, white red and the black one now the way to fix this on the receiver is the three lead the three lead servo goes and fixes on the rudder if I'm right it's uh, channel 5 on Futaba and the single uh, wire that actually comes from the gyro this actually is a signal wire uh, from the gyro this is the one that in, it gives all the inputs or the signal inputs to the gyro so this is important fix this to the gear channel in spectrum and uh, channel number 5 if I'm right in Futaba so channel number 4 will be the rudder the the wire with that has uh, got uh, three extensions basically and uh, channel fine Futaba if I'm right please again check up your manual will be the signal wire okay in spectrum is usually the lighter wires or rather always the lighter wire goes up especially in the AR6100E so this is fine I will go ahead and power up the receiver
give me a moment here. Yes. Well, the receiver is um, lit. You can see a, a steady light here. I think it's already in headlock mode. Let me start <coughs> setting this up for you. And there's a small screw. Let me remove the screw for sake of uh, better sake. I mean, say for sake of explanation. <laughs> Let's go across in the menu. Go to the gyro menu. Yeah. Gyro sensors. Well, this is what I'm going to set now. I placed it on auto. Rate zero one. This literally is uh, for idle up one, idle up two. That is for uh, the zero one. What I use is for uh, normal mode that's for hovering and setting it up and the one there's a channel number one here you can see I this is a setup this is uh, the bottom when you push it to the bottom it's a normal middle is the idle up one two is the idle up two so the one and two switch I use it for 3d fine right now it's a normal when it's a normal you can see the zero is blinking when it's on idle up one it goes to one one is blinking and it's on idle up two two is also blinking so also you can see here normal stunt mode that's for idle up one and idle up two and hold throttle hold throttle hold i'll come to later this is the throttle hold in the spectrum i'll come to later about that now what i am going to do is i am going to Sorry. Select the normal mode and reduce it to about forty eight to forty six. The reason is the reason is I don't want to have any kind of an head holding. Uh, mode across on the gyro. I want to centralize the servo. I want to know the center point of the rudder servo so that the uh, horn goes and fix across over there because what we need to do is we need to uh, like exactly the same thing what we did here was we uh, we centralize the servo here but we use sub trims. Here we are not going to use sub trims at all. So it has to be mechanically correct. We have to find the right center of the rudder servo without doing any direction, I mean, said, uh, adjustments on the subtrim or on the endpoints of the rudder. So do not go ahead and touch any of the subtrims or the trims. Uh, even here, you, you, know, you please don't go ahead and touch any one of these uh, during flight. So what I'm going to do is, what I've done is I've just put it across to 48. In rate uh, that's basically it's right now it's in rate mode it's not in head holding mode so even if you move the uh, uh, gyro there is no input you, you you hold your hand here and you can see the servo is not moving or other better way to show you this is let me fix it anywhere for the time being see ya you can see it's not moving now just for argument's sake I will go ahead and increase it yeah I don't know if you can no I think the setup is wrong hold on now we're gone ahead and fix the gyro it's quite perpendicular to the main shaft it was quite easy for me I've took a metal ruler here took it as a reference point placed it here and went in and fixed it uh, you can even use a match matchbox or even uh, I don't know if you recall uh, you know there, there's this building blocks the Lego ones where I think I'm more than sure you can get it across somewhere in your home fix that only because you'll get a larger surface area here to play around with so it is easier but uh, it's fine you know uh, you can just slowly move around here and see, see it's almost it's there well that's about it now 
if you check out the gyro comes across with a couple of leads one is the female part of the uh, lead go ahead and fix the rudder servo to the female part of the lead now the rudder servo that I have used which is the avionic one comes across with a orange red and a brown wire the orange which is a lighter color one goes ahead and uh, fixes across to the white uh, no I'm sorry this I just fixed it the opposite way The lighter color, this orange color, goes and uh, meets with the white color. For top, it's much more easier because you get here as white, red, and black. So it's not an issue. Well, if some of you make a mistake and turn it the other way around and also switch on the battery lipo pack, nothing happens. Basically, you don't end up burning up the uh, servo or anything, but it will not work. Let me fix it back again. So the white to the orange. Let me pick up my receiver. Now in the spectrum receiver you've got something called as a rudder, rudder and the uh, gear. I the rudder basically uh, the rudder uh, lead will take the servo with the three wires here. The single wire which is uh, the signal wire of the gyro goes and fixes across on the gear channel. I hope you got that. Okay. Yeah. 